Hey guys, today I want to explain uh, the process to follow the courses of uh, Mr. Lopez and the books and uh, how to advance in the program, in the marine engineering program. It's simple if you access my website www.mttedu.org you have access to the complete engineering program, marine engineering program. You have access to the books, the courses, the videos, the posters, the podcasts, all the information is over there in the website. Okay, the marine engineering program is a complete program. The program is composed of 13 courses. Each course is following one of my books. The first course is the, the course of Introduction to Marine Engineering. And this is the book. All right, each course is supposed that is for uh, four weeks. The second course is Basic Electricity, DC Current. And the book is the Marine Electrical Handbook. That book will be used for Basic Electricity, the course number one, and the course number two, Advanced Electricity. Advanced electricity is AC current, generators, inverters, pedestals, short power, transformers. It's a complete course in AC current. The course number four is marine electronics. And this is the book of marine electronics. In this course, we are going to cover it, all the NEMA regulations and more. We are going to try to understand what is the meaning of electronics and how to use electronics in engines, in hydraulic systems, in all the systems because today all the equipment, 60% of the equipment have uh, electronic components. All right, this is the course number four. Course number five is the course of diesel, marine diesel engines. This is a big course. It's supposed that uh, uh, that course is for eight weeks. Uh, the equivalent of uh, 160 hours credit in any uh, technical institute. Okay, the diesel course is a complete course in diesel engines. We are going to understand the diesel engines in detail. We are going to disassemble a, a diesel engine completely like this. We are going to repair the heads, the cylinders. We are going to rebuild the engine. And at the end, we are going to start the engine again. This is the course of diesel engine. It's a wonderful course. After that, we have a course of uh, inboard gasoline engines. Yes, inboard engines, outboard engines. We are going to understand the codes. A lot of troubleshooting with those inboard gasoline engines and outboards. And after that, we have another course, the course of uh, uh, tra marine transmissions. And of course, with the book of marine transmissions. We are going to understand lower units, uh, drive units, inboard gasoline transmission, inboard diesel transmissions, uh, and uh, we are going to analyze the clutch pack. We are going to try to understand what is the meaning of hydraulic clutch, mechanical clutch, all the components in marine transmissions. After that, we have the course of auxiliary system, marine auxiliary system, and this is the book. The course of uh, uh, auxiliary system cover all the hydraulic system, bow thruster, steam thruster, anchor, um, also includes fresh water system, sanitation system, fire suppression system. It's a complete course related with all the auxiliary system in a typical pressure yacht. After that, we have the course of marine air condition system. This is the book. And this is a wonderful course we are going to understand chiller systems, self-contained unit, split units, uh, the process to install a unit, the process to calculate a unit according with the size of the boat. It's a nice, nice, nice uh, course with excellent laboratories in marine air condition. After that, we have one of my favorite uh, courses, the course of corrosion, marine corrosion, and this is the book. This is a great course for inspectors, for managers, for surveyors, excellent, excellent course. In this course, we are going to understand the phenomenon of corrosion. We are going to analyze how to stop the corrosion in a boat, how to prevent the corrosion, how to eliminate the corrosion. Okay, uh, that course is a 
uh, other four weeks uh, is a perfect, perfect, cu perfect course for inspectors. And the last course is the course of marine composite materials, fiberglass, carbon fiber, composite materials. And we are going to practice a lot. And uh, the last course is the course of uh, uh, marine generators. Marine generators, we are going to understand the generators, understand the engine, the back end, analyze all the situation, high frequency, low frequency, high voltage, low voltage, uh, uh, external problem related uh, with the generator, internal problems related with the uh, electrical part of the generator, the mechanical part of the generator, diagnosis, troubleshooting, excellent course, the course of marine generators. And this is the marine program. Uh, how can you take those courses if you live in other country? It's simple, you enter in my website, you enroll in the course, immediately you enroll in the course, you receive the invitation to take the course with the password to enter in my learning platform. It's a, it's a friendly uh, learning platform. And uh, also, you receive the book in PDF, and ready, you are ready to start the course. Uh, I recommend in the syllabus, I say this is a syllabus roadmap, because it's a roadmap. I recommend day per day, week per week, the videos and the chapters that you can see every day. You can see the videos and the chapters at any moment, in the evening, uh, in the afternoon. You don't need to connect with me in the computer day per day, no. You follow the books, uh, you follow the videos that I recommend in the syllabus, you solve it at the end of each chapter, the quiz, you solve it the final exam, you do the laboratory that I recommend, and after that, at the end, if you have a great 80% or superior, you have the diploma, you have the certification, you can print it, and that's it, simple. If you want it, we can schedule one conference once per week. In the conference, I can explain with more details topics that you have uh, uh, questions uh, related with that week. Uh, or if you have a project in your boat, a project in your home, that uh, you want that I help, I can help. Camera with camera, I help, I help to repair an engine, I help to do the wiring in a boat, I help to install an air condition unit. The project that you have, I help, and this is part of the project in that particular course. In other words, you can take the courses in any part of the world, and you don't need to stay with me face to face. Of course, if you live here in Florida, in the United States, close to my area, you can pass here and I prepare good laboratories for you. If not, you can do the laboratories in your country, in your city, in your boat. Uh, this is the process, it's simple. At the end of each class, you receive the diploma, the certification, and you are ready to work in any part of the, of the world. Uh, also, at the end of each class, you will be prepared to take the ABYC certification corresponding to that course. Why? Because part of the class is the preparation to take the certification. If you don't want to take the certification, no problem. This is not part of the course. If you want to take the certification, you need to pay additionally in the website of ABYC to take the certification. I only prepare you to take the certification, and I promise you pass the, cer the, the certification. All right, this is the process to enroll in mrlopezclasses.com.